I have 21 WordPress websites that I need to maintain, optimize, update and backup every month. And I have to do that weekly. Doing that one by one would take a lot of time. And since I'm the lazy one here, I'm using the service that allows me to do that very fast with a couple of clicks for all of my sites. For example, as you see, I have 21 websites. I have set up backups here. I have set up the security checks and it displays that one of my websites has a vulnerability. I have set up the performance checks. You'll see that there are 25 updates available for my sites. I can open them up and see what sites needs to be updated. It displays that I have two WordPress updates available. Once again, I can see what are the sites that need to be updated. And if I need to update something, then I'm going to just select or select all and press an update. It's easy to set up. So if you're interested how to do that, then jump in because it's going to take only a couple of minutes. Now, long story short, the service we are going to use today is called ManageWP, the one you see on the screen right now. It has a free version, as you see, for unlimited websites forever, and it also has a premium upgrades in case you need some other options, for example, wide label or SEO ranking, uptime monitor, and so on. Later, I'm going to show you what is what, which means it's time to sign up for free. So, let's sign up. Now I can already connect my websites or skip to dashboard and add a website here. For example, I'm going to paste the URL of my website here. Click on add. I'm going to add my WordPress credentials. Now I'm going to add a website. It says establishing connection. Now what will it do? It will log in, install a managed WP plugin, which allows us to connect the service my, with my website here. It may take time, a minute or so, but when it's done, it says you have successfully added your website. Now, if I log in and take a look at the installed plugins, I'll see that this plugin here is installed and activated. There is nothing for me to configure here, so I'm going to close it down. Now, if I go to the website's dashboard, it's, it says that I have 11 updates for plugins, zero updates for Teams and zero for WordPress. And now I can set it up. For example, backups, I can activate backups. As you see, free version has monthly backup schedule, premium has daily backup, on-demand backup, and so on. And it costs for you $2 monthly. I'm going to activate the free version here. I'm going to select the region, whether it's Europe or United States, and I can include and exclude content here. I don't need WP admin or WP includes, for example, and I'm going to activate it. So it says that we are assembling your first backup. It may take a bit longer, but the backup will be taken later. Here I can set up the backup schedule. I'm going to set it to monthly start time. I need it to be done during the night time. So I'm going to select 3 a.m. and the date is eight and the backup will be taken once again i can include and exclude select the region notifications i'm going to set them up later ftp settings my sql settings i'm not going to touch those so i'm going to save settings and move away from here i'm going to take a look at the plugins it displays all the plugins i have added so i'm going to schedule the backups Enable scheduling. I'm going to update my plugins at 4 a.m. every Monday. I can select whether to perform WordPress core update. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do it manually. Now I'm going to select all plugins to be scheduled. If there is something I don't want to be updated, for example, maybe this Loco Translate or Elementor or any other plugin is the one that usually messes your site up after the update then you can disable those so but i selected all i'm going to schedule every monday at four o'clock those plugins will be updated if there is an update later i'm gonna take a look at the notification settings 
Next, let's move to the teams. Once again, every Monday at 4 o'clock, I'm going to select all teams here. Select schedule and done. Nothing else to configure here. Under the scheduling history, you'll see what has been updated and what's not. Now let's take a look at the users. I can edit users, I can delete users, and I can change the passwords. At the moment, I'm going to delete this one and attribute all content to this user here. As you see, I can even modify the users from the Manage WP dashboard here. Local sync. So basically, you can sync your local site from your computer to the site that's in live, but I'm not going to do that right, right now. Next, there is a link monitor. It's a premium add-on for $1 per month. It will scan the links on your site and tell you whether it's broken or not. Next one is security. Free version and premium version. Premium version is $1 per month. There is a free version that looks for malware. I'm going to activate this one here. Now I can schedule it once more, but it cost me $1 per month. It's a premium add-on here. Now let's run a security check and see what's happening later. Now let's take a look at the performance check add-on. It's a free version and premium version. Once again, I'm going to activate the free version. What will it do? It will test your sites as it will as it would in GT metrics or Pingdom or so. I'm going to choose the closest server to me and it's a London here. So let's run a performance test. Uptime monitor it is a premium add-on once again $1 per month. SEO ranking once again $1 per month. You can just monitor your website rankings. Next one is client reports. If you have clients set up, then you can send them reports about the updates or performance and so on. I'm not going to talk about it in this video, but probably you can understand what, what will it do for you. And there is a white label. It's once again $1 per month. Now let's take a look at the settings here. Site title, admin username. If the site is disconnect it, I can reconnect it, I can refresh the thumbnail, I can pause the website from updating or I can remove it. I can tag it or assign it to the clients. Later I'm going to show you how to set up the clients here. Choose protocol under the advanced and save updates. Save updates is a premium add-on. What will it do? It will take a backup before the updates. Now if I take a look at the overview, once again I see all the plugins. So let's update something here. But before we do it, as you remember, we activated the security check and it says that problems detected. So let's see what are the problems here. And as you see, it displays that, that there are vulnerabilities on my site. There is no malware and web trust is clean. This one here means that I need to update my plugins. No notifications here so i'm going to dismiss those two i'm going to go to the plugins overview i'm going to select all plugins and click on update now depending on your web host and the plugins that need to be updated it may take a time a minute or two but you'll see the progress up here if you have more than one site then it will display the progress for all the sites if you click on it it says that it updates a site test wsimpletoots.com so I'm going to pause for a minute until it's done here. So it took about two minutes and there is a message update not successful. That means only one plugin is not updated. It's a Fluent Forms Pro download fade unauthorized. Probably it's because I haven't added a license code over there. And if I refresh my page, yes, yes, it's so. There is only one plugin that needs to be updated. It's a Fluent Forms Pro. Now I can delete all the poster visions here, for example. That means I'm going to optimize my database. Everything is updated and optimized. Nothing else to configure here. So let's set up some clients. For example, let's imagine that dude called Jon Snow is my client. 
I'm going to add the details here. Connect the site. If there is an image, I can add it here. Company, phone number, some additional notes, and done. If I click the settings, I can change those. If I have set up some reports, there is a report history, schedule report settings, or create a report. There is no templates here, so that means we're going to activate reports. And here we can set up the templates or set up the new reports. For example, new report, demo title here, language, date range, choose what section to include in the report, whether to display the details or not, customize, add your custom message here, logo if needed, template, custom image to the template, preview and download, you can save it as a template or also send to the client if needed. So if reports are something that are needed for you, then you can use those here. Next, let's go back to the overview once again, or to the websites. What else you can do here? You can open the website dashboard, the one you see here. Also, you can log in to the WordPress dashboard. It will log you in and it's done. You can view the backups. Now what's good about these backups is that not only it backups your site, you can also restore your site by clicking here or download your backups here. And there is a nice clone website button here, but it's a paid add-on. So if you need to clone your site, then just buy an add-on here. I haven't used it before, so I don't know whether and how it works, but I know there is an option for it. Now the site is opened, there are some other tools you can use. For example, you can take a look at the system info. You can see the WordPress ver version, PHP version, and so on. You can activate the coming soon or maintenance mode if needed. So just to test it out, I'm gonna activate it. Open my site in a private window. And boom. With one click, I activated the maintenance mode. I'm going to deactivate the maintenance mode now. And if I refresh the page, the site is back up. Awesome, isn't it? What else you can do? You can add the code snippets here. Just add it here, run, and you're good to go. Although I wouldn't suggest you to do that. It's much safer you do it from your own site. One more thing, there is a history button. You can see all the history of the action that has been done for the website. You can download the file here if needed. And this pretty much concludes it. So once again, let's add another site. I'm going to add a website with this URL. Add your credentials. Wait a bit. The site has been added, as you see, it, it is fetching the information from the site about the plugins and themes that need to be updated and so on. Now, if you click at the overview, you'll see all the plugins that need to be updated and it's for all your sites. If you want to take a look at one site at a time, then just open up the site and you'll see what's happening here. Once again, you have to go through the plugins and so on to set up your scheduling as we did before. Schedule the team updates, take a look at the users, and so on. Basically, every time you have to do the same. If you take a look at the websites uh, over here, you can set up your sites as a favorites. Just start them, and those are your favorite sites here. You'll see the basic information, WordPress version, client. If there are some tags for it, etc., then you can do it here. From the overview, you can... You can see that you have some backups here, SSL enabled, updates available. You can just filter the sites by those. You can filter your sites by clients or by tags, even by language or WordPress versions. You can also select by PHP versions here. Now if you take a look at this menu up here. You can set up your billing information. You can set up your notifications. And those are the global notifications here. 
as I showed you before, you can also override it for every client or every site if needed. You can set up the view, your time zone, under the advanced whether to perform safe updates with automatic restore or not, how many parallel requests, you can set up in them here, how many post revisions to keep, websites per page, keyboard shortcuts. If you would like to activate two-factor authentication for your site, then you can do it here. You can also connect your site with third-party services, for example, Google or Google Analytics and so on. Profile information and some privacy settings. You can set up your billing information. There is also a template builder. I haven't used it before, so I don't really know what will it do. And there are some support information up here. To sum it up, as you see, it's really easy to manage multiple WordPress sites with a couple of clicks. Just add your sites, schedule the updates, or you can log in and update them one by one manually. For example, I have two sites here with two plugin updates available. I'm going to select, click on update, and it will update all my sites all together. If this is done, I'm going to go to the websites, log in, and see whether it works. And what's especially awesome is that all this is basically free for unlimited sites. Now, before you go, wait. If you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up, this one here and take a look at this side of the screen. It contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care. Bye.